Okay, I think we're live um, again. Um, not really sure what happened. So for those that are on here for the first time, um, I am interviewing my incredible, incredible friend, Sandy Vo. Um, so let's see, there's Nancy and I believe my Wi-Fi. Okay, everyone's jumping back on. Good, good, good. Just making sure that all this is uh, working. Sandy back in. Um, and, uh, I'm going to, yeah. All right. So we, technology is, oh, yeah. is real. It, there, te the universe is, is really, it is challenging you and me today. It's saying, <laughs> it's saying Sandy and Scott, you're going to have to keep dodging some bullets. So, so Sandy, <laughs> let's, uh, let's jump right in. Yeah. Um, who you are, um, what you stand for, what your mission is and tell everyone a little bit after you do that. How did you come up um, with Ladies Aligned and, and how did you become so proficient uh, and so uh, enthralled, so to speak, with meditation and now teaching it? Yes, uh, that's like a fully loaded many questions, but we're going to dive right into it. So hi, thanks so much to all of you for joining. Uh, we have been trying to connect and the Wi-Fi just has been super finicky, <coughs> Facebook in general, but we're making it happen. So my name is Sandy. I am a meditation teacher. I'm a super conscious brand and biz strategist and a podcast host. I'm also the co-founder of Ladies Align. So just some fun facts. I love avocado ice cream. I tried it for the very <laughs> first time in Singapore. So if you haven't tried it, you need to, must give it a try, and then you can thank me later. Um, I love to sing karaoke. It's something that is a really fun way to unleash for me. And of course, I love spending quiet time alone in meditation. So I guess that's a really good place to start off because that's how eventually um, I met my business partner and we started up Ladies Aligned. So... For those of you that are listening, um, you might have experienced those moments in your life where um, it just feels like the whole entire world is like against you. It's one of those moments where like you look up into the sky and you're just asking God, the universe, whatever greater voice out there, why? Why me? I, you know, had hit this point in my life where everything was kind of just building up at once. I had lost my cousin to leukemia. And she was a huge, huge um, inspirational figure in my life. Mm. I'm that kind of person, and I've always been this kind of person. And I don't know if you're a big brother. Scott, do you have any siblings? I have a younger sister. Okay. So, okay, you, you're, you're going to get me. And if you're a big sibling out there, you might get me as well. Where you feel like you have to be strong for them. You feel like you have to um, really uh, not show any signs of weakness. And um, basically just throw them on your shoulders and be like, you know, it's okay, little sis, little bro, like it's, I got you. So, you know, my parents got divorced when I was 15 years old. My younger sister was 13 at the time and my brother was um, nine years old or seven years mm -hmm. old. He's really young. And so when my dad had left, I took the role on of being this father figure while being this mother figure because my mom got into alcoholism and she just didn't know how to handle herself and three kids after, you know, my dad had left us. And so this gave way, this, this act of being strong, right? This, this me training myself to think positive all the time. Like if, if something were to happen in my life and my family, I would be able to take that situation, reframe it and get to the other side right away. And while you're listening to this and you might think that's a really um, powerful thing to have, that's, that's a strong suit. Later on, and what I mean is now, <laughs> it showed as a sign of weakness for me because mm. I didn't get to face a lot of the things that I was experiencing. And it also disconnected me from my siblings. And when what I wanted to do was protect them from some of the feelings that I had, I was isolating them and I didn't get to win this battlefield with them. You know what they say is, you know, so this is something that came through in my meditation this morning is that in order to experience love, it's about conquering a battlefield together. It's not about me showing up and, and being the army and being strong. It's about, hey, like I have moments of weakness too. And I, um, I'm feeling the pain too. And let's, let's cry in this. Let's experience all of this together. 
Yeah. You know, so it, it, it got to a point where I had held all of this weight on my own, didn't c- communicate with my siblings, didn't communicate with friends or family. Um, I, I fell into a deep depression. And I think it's really interesting because when people think about depression, I think it, the way that it's put out there is that you're just kind of stuck in the past. But it's so much more than that. It's such a confusing mental illness to have because you you don't you just have no understanding of how your life came to be what it came to be at right. one point like you were this vibrant happy passionate person um people are so magnetically um drawn to you uh you it looks from the outside like you have so many friends and you're vibrant and happy but like on the inside when you're alone in your room you feel like the whole entire world is dark and gloomy and you don't know why you can't draw back the pieces. And so it wasn't until years and years later when I um, finally got connected to meditation and doing all the inner work, did I realize that my depression didn't stem from the period of when my father had left us. It stemmed from something that happened that was very traumatic when I was 10 years old. And so the tool of meditation really allows you to rewire your brain and it allows you to take what's stuck in your unconscious mind that you're not aware of and bring it forward to your conscious mind so that you can actually do something about it. So those years of me pretending to be strong and not doing it in a, in a pretentious, inauthentic way, but just doing it because I thought that that was the right thing to do, had right. finally caught up to me. And um, yeah, meditation was that tool that really helped me to become aware of all those things, but not just be aware of it, to actually sit in it and make the changes that I needed to make. But all of that is also how eventually um, I met uh, Melissa as well. So I'm going to let you ask me whatever questions because I forgot some of the ones that you asked. That's me. okay. I, I mean, it's it's funny now hearing your story. We, we have a lot more in common than I than I knew we did because yeah. you know we spoke when you were um, were you in were you in Thailand or Singapore when we connected? Bali. I was in Bali. You were in Bali. Yeah. And um, you know, your your uh, your boyfriend was cooking you uh, <laughs> breakfast. Yeah. And uh, and and our conversation, it was just kind of like a little catch up call because mm-hmm. we had just gotten back from the mastermind and it went down this rabbit hole of, of me just kind of like uh, opening myself up and sharing my story with you. And you're like, Oh my God, I had no clue. But now hearing your story, we, we've, we've definitely gone through a lot of similar things. Um, you know, and, and I love meditation. I do a guided meditation. Nancy and I do a guided meditation every single night before we go to bed. Mm, um, that is that is how we fall asleep, and we sleep deep every single night. And it just it shuts everything down that needs to be shut down. We dream every single night. So you know, a lot of people are on fear on here. Um, you know, they practice mindfulness, they practice gratitude, and you know, uh, there is no best practice for meditation. There's no best practice for anything. You have to do what's best for you. So for me. Um, one of the most challenging things for me is, is the, um, the, the meditation where you just sit in your own body and your own peace. Um, I'm, I'm an accountability type person. So I love having someone guide me in a meditation. Mm -hmm. That's what works, but that's what puts me into my meditative state, but there is something out there for everyone. So talk about, you know, for people that, that aren't entrepreneurs, they're, they're, you know, they're, the everyday person, the, the busy person, the person that is stressed, the person, you know, that busy mom, that busy dad, that mm. busy, you know, person that's in corporate uh, America or wherever they're from. Talk about the importance of adding in the practice of meditation into a, a daily routine because people don't truly understand the healing properties that meditation provides for you because, um, a lot of people don't understand the difference between our subconscious and our conscious and, and obviously what has healing powers and what doesn't and how our thoughts can either, either negatively affect us or yeah. positively influence us. So speak a little bit on that. Yeah, so I'll describe it in two ways that I think will condense it down and make it super easy for you. One way that I like to explain meditation is like looking at a music sheet. So when you look at a music sheet, you see the notes and you also see the spaces between the notes. If we were to take someone that knows how to look at that music sheet and play the instrument, they would be able to play this really beautiful melody because there's spaces in between those notes. Now, if you were to take that same sheet of paper and condense all the notes together, like no spaces at all, 
then it would make sounds like right like it'd be like you wouldn't be able to to understand it and so our thoughts are like those music notes except when we meditate it's the spaces in between those notes so what meditation Ooh. does is it creates spaces in between each thoughts i think it's interesting because a lot of people think about meditation and they think of it in the sense of you know, I have to go into this Zen peaceful state and be like the monk inside of the cave and escape from the world and like clear away my thoughts. But meditation is a really powerful and productive tool to gaining awareness of what your thoughts are, observing it with no attachment, saying to yourself, oh, I'm aware that this thought is coming up. I'm aware that my thought is my thoughts are going fast right now, but I'm unattached to it. I'm just observing. And in this mode of you observing and then allowing the mind to be carried into um, a place of ease and silence, the way that I do that is, and the way that I've learned it is through mantra meditation, which I'll talk a little bit about later, you start to create spaces in between each thought. And so when you have those spaces, you have room. You, it's, it's like um, your computer, right? Like your, your desk drive. If you, your hard drive, if you have way too much on your computer, it's just going to take up way more room and you're not going to have any space for new downloads to come in. It's the same thing that happens with our mind. Our mind is similar to a hard drive. If we are not creating the spaces through the practice of meditation, which looks different for everyone, meditation could just simply be doing something that you love and giving right. it your one pointed attention, right? So the more that you do that, the more that you create spaces in your brain and the more that you're giving yourself room for that creativity or those downloads to come through. So that really um, breaks you free from this pattern of feeling like you're stuck inside of a hamster's wheel and from feeling overwhelmed because that's what happens to a lot of us, especially in our day-to-day -day life. The second way that I like to describe meditation is as if like you have, you're driving in your car and you reach this intersection and in that intersection, there's like four different ways that you can go. And then there's a traffic guy in the center that's directing you, you know, which way to go. Otherwise, if he wasn't there, then everyone would crash. All your thoughts would crash. Like literally the cars are your thoughts and they would just crash exactly like you're, you're describing. So what meditation also does is it redirects the traffic of your thoughts and it organizes it in a way that, you know, is more focused, you gain more clarity, and you know which direction you're going in. So you don't wake up feeling cluttered and confused, like, like we often do. So those are the two ways that I like to explain it. I love that. And you know, Denise wrote, prayer is asking meditation is listening for the answer. Oh, and, yes, uh, Denise, that's so beautiful. I, yeah, I, I, I love how that that's put. So, so, you know, obviously, I know the power of meditation. And I think uh, the more that pe people get personally developed, they start learning the power of reading and podcasts and meditation and gratitude and, you know, positive affirmations. So let's talk about Align and Rise, which is um, your big event that's coming up between April 26th and 28th in Saratoga Springs. And how did the event come about? And what can people expect going to this event because obviously there there is a uh, an end goal and i always t talk about working from the end in mind so yeah. obviously let's talk about people that they've already gone to the event what people walking out after the uh, april 28th portion of the event is done what what will be people walking home with from going For to sure. this weekend event yeah, I'll definitely tell you all about what you'll gain. The way that the event came up is all through Living in Alignment. So Melissa, my business partner, and I, we were both supporting each other in our own masterminds that we created just because we had our own separate businesses. I had my meditation and super conscious branding business. Melissa also had her network marketing business, and we were always collaborating and supporting each other. And then one day we decided to have a local event here in Saratoga Springs. And we were like, let's just make it an event and invite other women. Let's talk about self-care because that's a piece that I love to talk about. And let's talk about money mindset and give women the tools so that they can be more successful in their life and their business. And we were like, at the end, let's do it so that they can either work with you or they can work with me. And then that just felt so wrong. Like that just felt out of alignment in our bodies. Right. And we were like, what if we did... A mastermind together 
And we're like, ooh, like, you know, when you get that, like, gut hit, like, in your body, and you know yeah. that, like, you know that that's a sign for you to go in that direction. We often say that fear is a compass that's directing you where to go. Um, so we listen to that gut feeling. We were like, okay, because it feels scary, because we're mirrors for each other and we can't back down, let's do this mastermind. So we, um, we created a one-day event and the call to action was going to be for this mastermind. So that day, like literally the day of the event before anything happened, just to show you like real time how all this looks and how it's, it's so like last minute and following our intuition, we were coming up with the sales page for the mastermind. And we were thinking about what are the painful bonuses that people will get if they decide to join the mastermind? We're like, ooh, what if we did an event just like this, but we made it bigger and we made it for at least 100 people? We're like, ooh, <laughs> okay, we don't know how we're gonna do it. We've never thrown an event like this before, but let's do it. So this was literally the birth of what we call Ladies Aligned. This was, um, this is the birth of our company. We decided that we're being called to do something so much greater than the, the work that we're doing on our own, um, even though that's still such an important piece in what we do. And so Ladies Aligned is a movement and a brand that's designed to help women get unstuck, uncover their unique gifts and rise in their life and their business. And the way that we uniquely do this is through three pillars of living in alignment. One is self care, because here's the thing you can go and have many ideas and execute them and, um, you know, create a badass business, but you can do it all from a place of misalignment. There are so many people that have spent so much money on websites, so much money on coaches, but they never followed their intuition. They were doing what everyone else was telling them to do. And so self-care is the gateway to untapping your, uncovering your own unique gifts. So the more that you're able to implement tools and practices like meditation and journaling and breath work, you're able to unleash this vault of creativity that's inside of you where you can tap into your own unique gifts that nobody else has um, and then be able to unapologetically show up in the world. The second piece to that is a wealth mindset. So once you tap into your unique gifts, you're going to reach this point of, oh, but I'm not good enough. And so the wealth mindset is a really important piece that Melissa often talks about because it really helps you to understand how to receive abundance in your life. Money is the energy of commitment. Money is a magnifier for so many things that we have. It's a magnifier for our relationships. It tells us more about our relationships with ourselves and our relationships with the people in our lives. And money is also you know, the, the energy that, that we all operate in. So we have to create a loving relationship with it and not see it as such an icky thing. I remember like I was so, um, uh, I felt that icky money was so icky for such a long time and it stemmed from my own limiting beliefs from when I was younger. So that's a huge piece of it. And then the third piece is the roadmap to success. We understand that oftentimes when you go out and you create a business and a life that you love, you're going to come up with all kinds of roadblocks. You're going to doubt yourself. I was listening to an interview with Elon Musk the other day, and he was like, starting a business and thinking that you'll be successful is very similar to um, eating glass and staring into the abyss. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, that's so true. Because oftentimes we start off and we're like, yeah, like I have this amazing idea and I'm so passionate about it. It's going to be so easy. But then you start doing it and reality sets in. And it's so, yep. it's so much more than we think it is. So we help you um, find the roadmap to success and give you all the tools so that you can build an organic following, a loyal following. You don't have to have a huge Instagram account to make a lot of money and own your gifts and show up in the world and really serve in your purpose. So that's what this event is all about. We're taking the things that we teach our Ladies Align Mastermind Girls that takes six months and we're condensing it down into three days. And we're bringing oh. so many influential women into the picture so that I they can the experience is, all the, of this. The, yeah, the lineup is ridiculous who you have coming to this event. So yeah, yeah, amazing, it's really awesome. amazing. Yeah. So for those that are on here now um, and on the replay, if you go to www.ladiesonline.com um, and you use the coupon code SCOTT10 yes. at checkout, yeah. you will get 10% off of your ticket purchase. And again, it's April 26th through the 28th. Uh, in Saratoga Springs, New York. So people in the tri-state area, New York area, even yes. further than that, 
this is an event you don't want to miss. Okay, Sandy, uh, before we come to an end, um, I just have a couple rapid fire questions for you Ooh. before we're done. Okay. Um, what is your greatest personal accomplishment? Hmm. I would say what just happened recently. I mean, I went on a two month venture recently traveling overseas and um, I was so committed to doing a lot of inner spiritual work. And the outcome of all of that is um, that just on Sunday, my entire family, my mom and my dad, who have not had uh, a relationship for 11 years, they haven't contacted each, each other, um, are now friends. I was able to, um, I now have a relationship with my dad, which I also haven't had for 11 years. God. We have mirror uh, lives, mirror <laughs> lives. It's yeah. Um, I met my half brother. Um, and wow. yeah, I think that has been the most pers the, the biggest personal accomplishment because I was able to time travel all the way back to when I was 10 years old and, you know, talk to that little girl and, um, release her from a lot of, a lot of heartache. And then the out outcome of that was just this connection and this unity that we have in our family that's so dysfunctional, you know, and I think a lot of us can relate to that. So, yeah. That's, that's awesome. Now, what is your greatest professional accomplishment to date? Oh, oh, that's really hard. You gotta um, pick definitely, one. Definitely Ladies Aligned. Ladies Aligned is seriously something that um, I feel is a culmination of what it means to co-create with other women and um, create a life in alignment. Like it, it's, it's such a great community that we have and what we've built stems from our personal stories, Melissa and I, and um, what we were finding that was lacking in the world. So we're really excited to, to have that um, and have more women join us in that experience because they're going to gain so much. I love that. I love that. So again, guys, go to www.ladiesaligned.com. Uh, get your ticket. Use Scott 10 at checkout to get 10% off your ticket purchase April 26th through the 28th in Saratoga Springs, New York. Sandy Vo, you are one amazing human being, and I am truly, truly grateful for you uh, and the light that you truly do shine on everyone. And uh, I know I'm speaking for everyone that's been on here. Um, thank you so, so thank much so for much. Blessing us and gracing us with your presence and, you know, how you've turned your passion into something so much more to bless all these women that come into your life. Uh, and I'm excited for, to hear about all the events um, that are, you know, going to happening soon and the ones that are going to be happening way down the road because I know this is just the beginning for you. You're so awesome, Scott. Thank you so much. And I didn't get to share some of the things that they'll gain from coming to the event, but if you're listening to this and you're still here, I really hope to see you because what you'll gain is an immense sense of confidence. You'll gain sisterhood from women that are just showing up and being so vulnerable so that you can connect with them. You'll gain new um, profound relationships and navigational tools that you can implement right away. We're going to be dancing. We're going to be singing. We're going to be laughing, crying, hugging each other, doing so many exercises to get you uncomfortable, but to get you to break through every barrier that you have, or at least start to. So I really hope to see you there. Thank you so much, Scott, for having me as a guest. You are amazing and you're such a bright light and I cannot wait to have oh, you on my podcast. Thank you. I can't wait to, I'll, we're doing that on Thursday, yeah. but um, Sandy, maybe we'll do this again as we get closer to the event or even a wrap uh, after the event has happened. So we can talk about some share, some takeaways from it um, and when the next one's going to be. So Sandy, thank you again so much for being here tonight. Um, just so grateful for you. And again, everyone, please go to www.ladiesalign.com at checkout. Use the coupon code SCOTT10 to get 10% off. You deserve to be at this event and it will change your life. So Sandy, thank, thank you, you so much for being here and we will talk soon. Thank you so much. Have an amazing night, everyone. Bye, Sandy. Bye.